everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Here's a quick tip for you. Storing your garlic in the freezer. You cut it up all in advance just like you do any of the other stuff that you get from the grocery store. When you bring home your celery, you want to cut it up, cut up your onions. Everything you want to cut it up, I have other videos on that for storing the things that you bring home. But garlic, this is a new one to store in advance. So what I did was, I ordered off the internet. They came in a two pack, just like this. And they have a lid that goes on top of them. It's pretty nice. I can get it apart, there we go. The holes are smaller than an ice cube tray. And the concept is to cut up your garlic. So when you get your garlic, you cut it all up like this. I believe I came pretty close to cutting them all. Now I just need to take a clean up here. I have a little Tupperware I'm going to put them in. Just like this. And you can do as many of these as you want. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do a bulb. I believe you can do multiple bulbs. So let me put them in here and shake them. Then, take them out of here and inspect them. If you got one here that didn't come off, at least they're loosened real well. Just like how you do a hard boiled egg like that. Just make sure I get all the paper off them. Then, if there's anything on them that you don't like, that you think you need to have a little touch up of a trim, this is probably a good time to do it. Then, I take my chopper, you can put it in here, or you could use this one, either one. So let's say you want to put some in here. I'll just put three in there for now. That chops it up real well. We can put them in here. Actually, I think I'm not going to dirty two of these. But you get the gist. Put them in either one of these. This works so well, I'm going to use this one. You don't want to put too many in here or this will jam. So. If that's the case, let's try the bigger one, just for the fun of it. If sometimes you want to use a little one, probably if you're doing three cloves. If you're doing a lot of cloves, use the big one. Of garlic here. I can fill this up. I won't take the time to do it on camera. I think you get the gist of it. But what you want to do is take your garlic and go ahead and fill up your holes. I'll work on the rest of these later and I'll fill all these up. Show you what it looks like. Fill 
Cardinals. A little scraper works well, or a spoon. Now this garlic has basically been cracked and it is going to have those oils that are important to get into your taste. Now one thing to know is that each one of these little holes is two tablespoons. So when you're doing a recipe you're typically going to do two tablespoons of garlic. So really all you need is one of these for one hole. And then all you do is just put the lid on it like this, snap the lid shut, throw it in the freezer, let it freeze. You're in great shape. That's my quick tip for the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's in the lower right hand corner. The first thousand subscribers we're going to be giving away some presents to. So if you're in the first thousand subscribers, that's important. If you're on a cell phone, turn your cell phone up. You'll see the subscribe button. You'll also see then the more button with recipes and links and things to where I get things from. So thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. That's today's quick tip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe in the lower right hand corner. And if you'd like to be notified about future shows, click the bell. It's right up on the top. And also, more information is at my website, jamestdds.blogspot.com.